by the beginning of September, one of the other curves that we got thrown, which wasn't in the white paper, was that the government lawyers decided that the agreement with us could not be a sole source agreement. And what so, does that mean exactly? Well, you know, under the government, under the code of federal relations of relating to contracts, the normal practice is there has to be demonstrated competition. This is sort of an article of faith. The government deserves a, a proper competitive bid on, on its work. So the white paper implied that once that the government, meaning NIS and NTIA really, came to agreement on the, on the fine, on the details, that the selected organization would be off and running. So what the, so what the announcement about no sole source meant is that John's group had to throw a proposal over the transom at NTIA and, and any other interested party that wanted to compete for the business, if you will, the ICANN business, had to throw a, their proposal in, in the hopper too. That meant, of course, that everything had to be a lot more definite than was implied by the white paper.